Hey guys, it's Yuko here. I'm in beautiful Vegas and I would like to share with you today a video on tips on how to have your best flight ever, what to bring on your carry-on to keep healthy so you don't catch the person beside you's cold when they're sneezing on you, so you feel hydrated, so you're not like dry and like your nose and mouth is dry and also so you're comfortable as well, so you feel warm and cozy and you can you can sleep and just have a relaxing time. So I'd like to start with what to do prior to the flight. So what you could do is up your dose of probiotics, of whole food vitamin C powder, and also zinc. So all of these things are gonna help create a really healthy immune system. And I stressed whole food vitamin C powder because that is made with whole foods, usually from camu camu berries that has a really high, high amount of vitamin C. So you're wanting to do that versus the synthetic. So just pay attention to the label when you're, when you're purchasing that, and that will really help with your immune system. Uh, you could also be upping your dose of magnesium. That's really helpful for, for stress. That's helpful for restless leg, for your body feeling relaxed. So that could be a good thing as well. There are a couple of essential oils that I'll share with you. Um, Copaiba and vetiver are amazing ones for anxiety. Some essential oils that are really good for immune system is, is clove, is eucalyptus, there's lemon, there's cinnamon. So those are all ones that are really incredible for your, for your immune system. If you wanted to disinfect something around you, then you could spray a, or put a couple of drops inside some, in some water. You could put lemon, you could put tea tree, and that would really help just clean your, if you wanted to like wipe down the trays or wipe down the things around you, then, then that could be really good as well. When you are picking your seat, if you were if you had a choice, then pick a window seat because in the window seats, you're less likely to have people walking up and down, sick people going to the bathroom, touching your seat, touching your um, armrest to balance themselves. So that would be a really good thing to do as well if you have that option. And when you're sitting down, turn the air vent on. So that's gonna create a flow of air and also, well, that's gonna help sort of well, the idea is to blow any of the viruses away just to kind of keep a clean little funnel around you. So you could do that as well. And because you hopefully have brought a little blanket or you've brought fuzzy socks or you've bought my favorite, my all time favorite, which is a heating pad, then you could plug that in and you'll be warm and cozy. So you can have that air vent on and it's gonna be okay. You're not gonna feel uncomfortable. And then for, for nutrition, of course, just bring, bring your healthy snacks, some, some nuts, some dried fruit, some fresh fruit, just knowing that you may get hungry on the plane and just so you have some healthy choices available for you. And of course, being hydrated. So plain air is one of the driest airs. It has like 15% moisture or humidity. So we're, we're used to usually about 30 to 60% and that's like optimum. So when you are in a really dry, spot your mucous membranes dry up and that is what can really lead to bacteria and viruses like coming in your body more easy so to just be aware of that and keep hydrated so probably every hour you are in the air to drink about eight ounces of water so that could be a really good gauge for you so however many hours you're in the air just just keep keep drinking keep hydrating you could ask for some lemons to put inside your water to to help uh, alkalize your body you could put some of the essential oils as well in in the in the water too what else can I share with you guys uh, I think that's it I think I've, I've mentioned everything that I wanted to um, and of course just like some some good reading <laughs> I this trip I brought a book on chakras with me so that was my reading for the plane so I hope you enjoyed this guys and I look forward to seeing you next time and please subscribe to my channel to get more tips on health and wellness and I look forward to seeing you next time bye